We are talking about the 2022 election and the Republican candidate for governor of Maryland, Dan Cox, wants to block the counting of mail-in ballots before Election Day. This comes hours before a circuit court judge is set to hear arguments from state election officials to count those votes sooner. So let's get chat to Tom Fitzgerald. He is live in Laurel right now. And Fitz, you talked with Dan Cox today on this issue. We did, Jim. You know, by law, Maryland has a rule that says you cannot cut out any mail-in ballots until two full days after the election. But you remember this past summer after the July primary, it took weeks in some cases to declare winners in some of those primary races. So the State Board of Elections in Maryland is going before a circuit court judge in Montgomery County tomorrow morning with an emergency petition. What they're asking the judge to do is to set an earlier deadline and allow these mail-in ballots to be counted as soon as October. October 1st. That is just days from right now. Dan Cox's campaign, though, has filed its own petition with court seeking to block that. In Baltimore today, Cox told Fox 5 he believes changing these rules and this law just 49 days before the election is wrong. That's inappropriate. It creates distrust. This is not something that um, was unknown. They've known about the ballot counting process. If it truly was a concern they could have brought this to the attention of the legislature sooner. Now, Maryland's Board of Elections declined Fox 5's request for an interview today, citing this pending litigation. However, in a press release, they did say that in their view, if this deadline is not moved up, it could be late December 2022 or early January 2023 before any election results in some of these races are able to be announced. They say this would affect not only state elections, but local elections and federal elections as well. Fox 5 was also told today that Democratic candidate Wes Moore was unavailable to comment on this. However, a spokesperson for the campaign says that Moore's action is attempting to directly affect Maryland's elections. More, or also today was the subject of a press conference in Baltimore by Cox in which he raised questions about Westmore's own biography, claiming there were inaccuracies about Westmore's story. We're live in Baltimore tonight. We'll send it back into you.